Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and wouldn't you like to go to paradise for $9.99? I know I would. Let's get into it. It's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are making a paradise cocktail. Now, that's not to be confused with a Barbados Paradise Cocktail or a Rainbow Paradise Cocktail, although they look similar, and it is completely different than the classic 1940s Paradise Cocktail. However, this simple, easy, multi-part cocktail will wow yourself, your friends, and anybody we're in between, and you know, you can pretend you're on a Caribbean beach, you could be by the pool, you could be on the back deck, heck, you could even be in a local park having a barbecue with the family. So you know what, let's get into this. The first thing you're gonna do is grab a glass. I mean, we're gonna make this in multiple stages so that it's really, really easy to follow. Grab your coconut rum of choice. In this case, I'm using Malibu coconut rum, and it is a coconut liqueur, technically speaking. However, everybody calls it Malibu rum, so it's rum. We need two ounces and 60 milliliters. Next, you're going to actually mix this with your fruit juice. And we're going to use some fresh pressed pineapple juice. And we need three ounces or 90 milliliters. Look at that. Looks pretty. Give it a little bit of a swirl, an agitation, or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't really matter. Next thing you want to do is grab another glass. For this one, what we're going to do is we're going to grab your blue curacao of choice. In this case, I'm using Guinness blue curacao. This is an orange curacao, but it is colored blue. And for this, we need a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half milliliters. The next thing you need is some water. And I'm sure you're saying, David, why would you be adding water to alcohol? Well, in this case, we're doing it to the blue curacao because we want to dilute it. Blue curacao in itself is very sugar heavy and normally it would sink to the bottom of the drink, but we don't want it to do that. We want it to layer properly. So we're going to add one ounce of water or 30 milliliters. And you want to give that a little bit of a swirl too. So put that off to the side. Now you're going to grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a beautiful hurricane glass. Perfect, isn't it? But the first ingredient you're actually going to do is grab some of your grenadine. In this case, I'm using a homemade grenadine. This is one to one pomegranate juice and sugar. I also add in half an ounce or 15 mils of an orange liqueur, in this case, triple sec. It keeps the sweetness up. And you can do that if you don't have orange flower water, which you'd use a couple of drops, or orange oil, and you'd use about five mils. Now, what, for this, we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. And you want to pour that directly into the glass. The next thing you want to do now is fill your glass with ice. And you're going to use just big chunky ice. You're going to use fine ice or crushed ice because you want it to fill the glass, but you don't want it to really uh, travel upwards because the grenadine itself will begin to travel upwards if you used perfectly crushed ice. Next, we're going to grab our orange and coconut rum mixture, and we're going to pour that in there. Oh, gorgeous. The next thing you want to do is you want to take your blue curacao and water mixture, and you are going to slowly layer it in. And this is why I said we have to dilute it so that it keeps that level. Look at that, beautiful. Grab your straw of choice, use a big one or short one, whatever. In this case, what I'm going to do, because I don't wanna actually wreck the layering of the drink, is to gently, very slowly slide it in. That way, we don't lose all of our beautiful color layers. And I wanna garnish this. You don't have to. However, I figure an orange garnish to go with a little bit of the blue curacao on top because it's an orange liqueur. And what we're going to do is we're gonna give it half an orange slice. Look at that. Now that is a Caribbean drink made just for you. Look at that, beautiful. 
So immediately you get some notes of orange from the curacao and the orange itself. Let's give this just a little bit of a mix. Oh, that's really good. You immediately get some of the orange grenadine, the orange grenadine, the grenadine because it's in the bottom. But as you lift the straw, you gain the pineapple and coconut flavors and then a little bit of the orange flavors from the curacao. Mmm, that is great. What I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description. If you think that I should use a different type of coconut liqueur or a different type of juice, something that just changes up the flavor profile, please leave a comment down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. That way you will be notified every time I put up a new video. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great afternoon. We're going to grab our orange curacao. Actually, this is a purple.